I'd like to know if there are any objections from the audience. Uh, <coughs> I object. I object. I object! What a beautiful morning in Villa France. The birds are chirping. I can smell freshly baked bread. Belle, oh Belle, Belle, I've been looking everywhere for you. Gaston, what's so important? Well, Belle, I have great news for you. Oh, are you moving away? No, out of all the women in the village, I've chosen you to be my wife. Gaston, why in the world would I want to marry you? Well, I'm an excellent hunter. I uh, have big muscles and I am a fantastic spitter. <laughs> Um, yeah, I can see why any woman couldn't resist that, but, um, yeah, I have someone else very special in my life, so, yeah, I gotta go collect some bread for the council staff. Bye, Gaston. Oh, what do I have to do to convince her to marry me? So, Gaston, what did she say? Oh, you wouldn't believe it. What was it? She said no, and that she had someone very special in her life. Well, you know, Gaston, if you bought Belle something romantic, maybe she'd change her mind and want to marry you. <laughs> That's it, LeFou. Let's go. Belle will love this. It's so romantic. Wait a minute. There's Belle now. A and she's with Prince Adam. You know, Belle, you're so very special to me. Aw, thanks, Adam. <laughs> you always make me feel like a princess. Well, why don't we make it official? We'll make an honest woman out of you. <gasps> Belle's not honest? Now I like her even more! What do you mean, Adam? I am honest. No, silly, it's just an expression. It means we should get married. Married? I thought you'd never ask! But wait, I don't see a ring. A ring? I need to get a ring! A ring? I need to put a stop to this. I want the finest ring you have. What is your size? Not for me! It's for Belle. Okay, what's her ring size? Her finger's about, uh, yay big. I've got just the thing. Boy, rings are expensive. You'd think $20 would be enough. Yes, that should do it. Put it on my card. I need a plan. He's buying Belle a ring. That's not nearly as romantic as a stuffed animal. <gasps> that gives me an idea. If we turn him back into the beast, then Belle will have no choice but to marry me. How did he turn into the beast the first time? Well, it was the old witch in the woods. Mm. See, she wouldn't give him any bread. I saw it in the movie. That gives me an idea. I'm gonna pay that old witch a visit. But first, I'm gonna stop by Prince Adam's castle. How am I supposed to get into this place? All the doors and windows are locked. Wait a minute. Belle has a dog named Pepper. How does he get inside? Hmm. Ooh, man, that dog door's small. Ooh, what do we have here? Looks like the castle's all out of bread. Now, let's go find that witch. Never pounding on my door better have a good excuse. <laughs> Hello, my name is Gaston. You don't know me, but I heard you like bread, so I brought you some. My, what a nice young man. Why would you do such a nice thing? Well, I've been bringing people bread. Ever since Prince Adam shut down all the bakeries, nobody has any bread. How very selfish of him. Sounds like the prince before I turned him into a beast. Yes, he's back to his selfish ways. Wouldn't even help out a poor beggar. That's terrible. <laughs> Are you sure? Well, why don't you go find out for yourself? I think I might have to do that. <laughs> well, have a nice day. <laughs> Boy, Gaston, you are a genius. Once Prince Adam turns back into the beast, Belle won't want to marry him anymore. I wonder who that could be. I wonder if you might be able to help a poor, hungry old woman with some bread. Hmm, why does that seem so familiar? Why, sure, let me go get some for you. Ah, oh, looks
looks like the man in the woods was wrong about him. Bella, it was so good of you to come over. Yeah, I hope you like ice cream. We got a new ice cream maker and you can do your own flavors. Oh, wow. I want to make hamburger flavor for Prince Adam. That's his favorite food. Huh? I'm sorry, I just don't have any bread for you. What? You won't give a single slice of bread to a poor old innocent woman, will you? I just can't. Sorry. Well, I'll take care of that. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's been so fun, you guys. But I have to get back to my castle. I have a feeling Prince Adam has something for me. Oh, did you guys want any of my hamburger flavored ice cream before I go? <laughs> no, no, you keep it. Yeah, say hi to Adam for us. Gaston, you did what to the witch? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Gaston, you're a genius. Belle's gonna be so lucky. Oh, Adam, I got you your favorite treat. Well, <laughs> an ice cream flavor. <laughs> I just need to declare my feelings for you again and then it'll break the curse! To the Rose Room! Without this, he'll be the beast forever. Ha 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 There it is! Oh no! All the leaves have fallen off! I'm stuck being a beast forever! I'm gonna go to my dad's. You know, he's an inventor. He'll know what to do. Dad? Are you there? Oh, Belle, don't come in. I've got the measles and I don't want you to get sick. But, Dad, I need your help. Adam is a beast again and the rose died and I need your help turning him back. Let's face it, Belle. Adam or the beast or whatever his name is, <laughs> he can't be changed back so you might as well marry Gaston. Dad, why would you say that after what he did to you? Belle, you need to learn to forgive. After all, Gaston is a great hunter. And you could totally cook for him and his little cool, handsome friend LeFou, too. Dad, I'm worried about you. I think the measles might be getting to your head. Belle, stop thinking about yourself. <laughs> you should have said yes to Gaston earlier. Now, Go do the right thing! I don't know, Dad. Wait a second. How did my dad know that Gaston asked me to marry him earlier today? Hmm. That's because it's not Maurice. He's locked up inside his inventor shop. <laughs> I crack myself up. Think, Belle, what are you going to do? Oh no, Belle, what's wrong? The witch turned Adam into a beast, this time for good. Well, humans and beasts are not allowed to get married, so you know what that means. No, Gaston, Ugh. I wouldn't marry you if you were the last guy on Earth. Well, I am the last guy, the last guy to ask you. All I want is for Adam to turn back into himself. Well, there is one way. What's that, Gaston? If you marry me, I'll get the spell reversed. But then I wouldn't be able to marry Adam because I'd be married to you. Well, what's better, him being a beast forever or being Prince Adam? Unmarried, of course. All right, Gaston, I'll marry you. But you have to reverse the spell as soon as we do. Okay, I will. But remember, you have to do all the cooking and cleaning and wash my dirty socks. Fine. Hey girl, so got some news. I'm marrying Gaston. <laughs> Are you ranking me? Oh, wait, what? What? Are you serious? Gaston? Again? Belle, we've been through this. Belle? Are you feeling okay? You're talking kind of crazy. Well, LeFou, it worked. You did it? You tricked the witch into changing the beast back? Yup, easier than taking candy from a baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, that's how we get our candy. But what if they reverse the spell before the last petal falls? Oh, I took care of that. 
Now, will you be my best man at the wedding? We are gathered here today for the wedding of Belle and Gaston. And by looking at both of them, you can tell that they're made for each other. Gaston said turning into a beast was your idea. No, it was Gaston who tricked the witch into changing you. Now where's the real rules? Before we start, I'd like to know if there are any objections from the audience. Actually, I object. You're not part of the audience. Uh, <coughs> I object. I object. I object! Okay, now that we have that out of the way, may I have the ring? LeFou, the ring. LeFou! Uh. Adam, it's you! LeFou, what are you doing with the beast? Uh, well, I may or may not have been held upside down, blood rushed to my head, and I may have told him something, everything. Did you tell him I switched the rose? <gasps> We can still reverse the spell! Oh no! Everything is ruined! Adam, you're the only man for me, even though you're not technically a man right now. i drink soup out of a bowl with you any day. <laughs> Once again, my plan is ruined. Let's go, LeFou. Adam, you're human again! Well, since we are in a church, we should get married. Step right up here, young man. We are gathered here to witness the wedding of Adam and Belle. Groom, do you have the ring? <gasps> LeFou has it. If you like it, then you should have stole the ring from her. If you like it, then you should have stole the ring from Every time, no one's around. Elsa, I am so excited to hold cheerleading tryouts. I know, this year has been so much fun being cheer captains together. Wait, Anna, did you bring Snowflake? You know you're supposed to leave her at home. I know, but I thought it'd be fun. I thought I'd bring her in, she can help judge. Well, I guess it's okay. Oh, I'm super jazzed to choose the rest of the cheer squad for this year. I cannot wait to see what our friends come up with. They are so talented. Seriously. Oh, well, let's go hang the rest of your flyers and that way everybody knows where to go for the tryouts. Wait a second. Cheer tryouts are today? <sighs> well, I've always wanted to be a cheerleader, but it says that you must compete in a pair. Hmm, who do I know that could audition with me? <gasps> I know. <laughs> I like it, but not enough fur. <sighs> DeVille residence, Cruella speaking. I have something that will interest you even more than fur. Not possible, but go on. Anna brought her new little puppy to cheer tryouts today. Oh really? A puppy? I'm sold, I'll be there ASAP. Toodaloo! See you soon, teammate. <laughs> Thank you so much for everyone coming out to today's auditions. We're so jazzed to have you. Yes, we are so excited to see what cheers you guys came up with. And Snowflake is excited too. <gasps> Thank you guys. Anna, we wrote this cheer especially for you. I'm ready to get my cheer on. Are you ready, Belle? I'm ready, Ariel, let's, let's do go. it. S-A-N-D, what does that spell stand? W-I-C-H, what is it spell witch? Put it all together and what do you get? Sandwich! Go time! Oh my gosh, that was so cute. I loved it. Plus it made us a little hungry. Next up. Well, I think we look pretty good. They could use a bit more fur, but it'll do. Hmm, but we need to think of how to make those princesses let us on the team. They'll never go for two villains on the cheer squad. Don't worry, Molly. I've got it all taken care of. Don't you know who I am? I'm Cruella de Vil, Cruella de Vil. Yes, yes, but what are you going to do? I'm going to have my henchman Jasper steal the little pup. And while Elsa's distracted, we're going to make sure we make the team. Perfect, let's go. 
Okay, great job. You ladies are killing it. Next up is Tiana and Rapunzel. <laughs> Ready? Okay. We are princesses. Fans on this side. Show your princess pride. We are princesses. <laughs> okay. Up next we have... Uh, <laughs> wait a second, this can't be right. What is it? Who does it say is next? Maleficent and Cruella de Vil. Yes, darling, the most cheerful of them all. <laughs> um, I don't think so. More like the most villainous. Yeah, what are you two up to? And, wait a second, did you guys already come dressed in your cheer uniforms? Oh, we stole that. We have to look the part to play the part to get the part. We just want to be on the cheer team. Is that so wrong? Off we go, little pup. Just let us audition. Yes, you have to let us audition. Then you can decide if we make the squad or not. I have my doubts about how cheerful villains can be. But you're right. Everybody deserves a chance to audition. Go ahead. Give me a B! B! Give me an A! I! Give me a D! D! What's that spell? Oh wait, I wasn't paying attention. It's bad! You know, because we're bad. We're villains. Rotten to the core. Oh yes, bad. Wow, that was something else. <laughs> yes, um, thank you. You guys can have a seat. All right, ladies, thank you so much for coming out. Elsa and I will deliberate and... Wait, oh my gosh. What? Snowflake, she's missing and her carrier's gone too. She's not there? Where could she be? Snowflake! I don't know, I don't see her anywhere. Snowflake! Oh, I gotta go look for her. I'll come with you. I think we've already made our decision anyway. I'll just post the list and then I'll come help you. Thank you, Elsa. Snowflake! Snowflake! <laughs> there we go! List posted. Okay, Anna, I'm coming to help you! That was brilliant. Thanks. If it's one thing I know, it's how to steal a puppy. Now we just have to change this list. Allow me. Uh, Tiana and Rapunzel? I think they meant Maleficent and Cruella. <laughs> I like the way you think. But wait a second. How do we know they'll be distracted for long enough? I left them a note. Don't worry, they'll be busy for a while. I called in a favor with my other friend, Mother Gothel. Oh, Elsa, I found a note. A note? What does it say? If you ever want to see your precious pup again, come to the tallest tower in Corona. Corona? Tower? That can only mean Mother, Mother Gothel. Gothel. We have to get her back. Let's go this way. <gasps> Elsa posted the list! <laughs> Ariel, we made it! <laughs> Wait a second. I don't see our names, Rapunzel. What? No, our names have to be on there. No, we aren't on there. And Maleficent and Cruella are. And it says that they're cheer captains while Elsa and Anna are gone? No way. No way Elsa actually wrote that. It's her signature for sure. There's a little snowflake by her name. <gasps> This is crazy! What's crazy, Ariel? That the two best cheerleaders are the captains? Doesn't sound crazy to me. Now, let's get to practice. The pep rally is coming up, and we need to make sure that the stars of the show really shine. Um, it's a cheer squad? Yeah, there are no stars. We're all a team. Psh, yeah, right. You guys are basically our backup dancers. That's not how it works. I'm sorry. Oh wait, I'm not. Elsa left us in charge and that's how it goes. 
I hope Elsa and Anna can find Snowflake and make it back soon. Well, we made it. You really think Snowflake is all the way up there in her tower? Well, that's what the note made it sound like. What does that sign say? Door this way. Someone really wants to help us get in that tower. I know it seems like a trap, but I have to get my puppy back. Yeah, let's go. Like we practice. Five, six, seven, eight. Day to day they always win. The villains are back again. Go, Ellison Cruella. Come on, more excited, more passion, more pep, more cheer. What do you think about the cheer, Tiana and Rapunzel? You know, the one that cheerleaders just did. <laughs> um, to be honest, it really doesn't represent school spirit at all. Yeah, it's really just about you two. Well, what do you know? You aren't cheerleaders. Yes, you two didn't make the team, so now you have to sit sadly and watch us. You know what? You're right. Let's get out of here, Rapunzel. Right behind you. Oh, what sore losers slash non-cheerleaders. <laughs> uh, again, a five, six, seven, eight. Uh, day to day, they always win. <gasps> it's a little suspicious, don't you think, that the whole way up here there kept being these signs that said, keep going this way, dog this way, in the tower? I know, but what are we supposed to do? I have to try and get Snowflake back. Oh my gosh! Snowflake! Snowflake! Yay! You got her! Okay, let's head back quick. Not so fast! Who are you? I'm Jasper of Jasper and Oris. Oris is on vacation. Sorry, never heard of you. I'm one of Mr. Vale's henchmen, uh, assistant. Whatever you want to call it, but it's my job to make sure that you do not get out of this tower. Boss's order. I knew this was a trap. I bet you anything they're trying to keep us locked up here so they can be cheerleaders. You're right, and we need to be preparing for the pep rally. Sorry, not happening. Oh, really? What was your name? Jasper, was it? That's me name, and being a villain is me game. Well, aside from playing darts. Oh. Oh, you play darts. <sighs> I'm the best. How about this? I challenge you to a game of darts. If I win, you let us go. If you win, you get to keep Snowflake. What? Anna, what are you doing here? Trust me. Wait a second. Keep the dog? Mr. Ville would love that. I know. She sure would. Luckily, I brought me dots with me. Perfect. Let's get started. I don't know about this. Wait, what are we doing again? I just want to take another look at this list. It still says the same thing. Maleficent and Krill are cheer captains and we aren't on the team. All signed by Elsa. Hang on a minute. This handwriting looks a lot different than the other ones. Hold my books. What are you doing? Hold on a hot minute, Rapunzel. Oh, it's a fake! What? Corella and Maleficent must have gotten to the list before us and changed it. But really, Elsa wanted us on the cheer squad. Look! I knew it. We were supposed to be cheerleaders. I'm worried about Elsa and Anna. This smells fishy and I'm not talking about crawfish. We need to find them and set all this straight before the pep rally. Let's go. Go Maleficent Cruella! Five? I am exhausted. I know, we've been doing the same cheer for hours. Ugh, princesses, so weak. Oh, wait a minute. This gives me an idea. Yes, fine, princesses, take your break. Finally. What's your plan, Molly? Mm, well, we move the pep rally up to tonight. <gasps> then I put a spell on the cheer to make the whole school fall asleep. That's brilliant. No classes, no princesses. We just get to run the school. <laughs> get back in here, ladies. Break's over. We have a lot to prepare for. And the last dart. Yes! 
Another bullseye! I win! Oh, what? How is this possible? I told you, I'm pretty good at darts. My friend Merida taught me how to shoot a bow and arrow. An arrow is basically just like a giant dart anyway, so no biggie. That's it! We win! So that means that we get to take Snowflake and get on out of here! Let's go! Oh, Mr. Vale is not going to be happy about this. Elsa, Anna, wait! It's a trap! Oh, we know. We're just leaving. Wow, look at that bullseye. I don't want to talk about it. Maleficent and Cruella told us that you left them in charge and that we didn't make the cheer squad. What? You guys definitely made the cheer squad, of course. That's what we thought, but then they changed the list. And we would definitely not put them on the squad or leave them in charge. Belle texted, get here ASAP. They are moving the pep rally till tonight. Let's go. Welcome everyone to the Princess Academy Pep Rally! Get ready to cheer and shout because here come your 2018 cheerleaders! Hello! Welcome to Princess Academy. Thank you for coming on such a short notice. This will be a pep rally to remember. <laughs> I don't like this. I know, I feel like something bad's about to happen. Here we go! Five, six, seven, eight. Day by day, they always win. The villains are back again. Go, Wow, I know we've been cheering all day, but I'm so tired. Oh, me too. I think I'm just gonna lay down and take a snooze. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. <laughs> it worked! <laughs> now, the school is ours. Not so fast, villains! What do you think you're doing? Oh my gosh! They're all asleep! How did you escape the tower? Easy. We just darted right out. <laughs> well, you're too late. Now everyone is asleep and the villains run the school. Right, Cruella? Right, Maleficent. Now let's laugh like the villains we are. <laughs> <laughs> let's go raid the cafeteria for delicious snacks. Mmm, sounds divine. What are we gonna do? How do we wake everyone up? Belle! They're out cold, there's no luck. Aurora did it before, but she's out of town. I can only freeze people. That's not going to help anything. The only other magic we have is Rapunzel, your hair! Yes, we can use my hair, but what are we gonna do? We cheer. I have a plan. Let's huddle. Mmm, these little chocolate candies are delicious. Oh, and so are these chips that we don't even have to pay for them. Ooh, what should we do next? I say we go to the band room and play whatever instrument we want. <laughs> no one can tell us what to do. I love a world without school and princesses. <laughs> Attention school, the pep rally is not done. There's one more cheer that we will now broadcast over the loudspeaker. Ready ladies? Ready? Okay! okay. Flower gleam, flower glow, make the clock reverse. Wake these people from their curse. Go Maleficent! No! What's happening? Her magic hair! Curses! Oh. Oh, that was a nice nap. <sighs> Did we miss anything? You know, just another classic villainous plot. There was a dog napping, a dart game, an almost takeover, but then we saved the day. Oh, and a pep rally. Just another day in the life. Oh, wow. Thanks for saving us. <laughs>